Today I'm going to be explaining the names that come out in the K-drama Extraordinary Attorney Wu, which has been an extremely popular show in Korea right now. Before I begin, I'll just go over some of the basics of Korean names. So you'll have um, the last name comes first and then your name. So there's no uh, real concept of like a first name, it's just your name. And to be more exact, Koreans don't really call it a last name, it's just like a, the American concept of it, but your last name is really your family name, so it's where, you, uh, where your last name originates from. For example, the BTS member Jimin, people know him as Jimin because that's like his stage name, but his um, full name is Park Jimin. Park is his last name, Jimin is his name. Most Korean names are made up of three characters, so your last name is one and then your name is two. But um, you, you can meet some people who have two characters as your name. For example, if you know the 17 member Dino, his real name is Lee Chan, and that's E Lee is his um, last name and Chan is his name. A more rare case is when someone has a three character name. For example, you'll know the actress Han Yesul. Her real name is Kim Yesul Lee, so her actual name is Yesul Lee. There's also a case where you can have two character last names. Uh, there will be different variations of it, but the actor that we know is Nam Gung Min. So his name, the Nam Gung, is his last name. So his name just becomes Min, and you'll probably know him from the drama Stove League that um, Pa Geun Bin, the actress of Woo Young Woo, actually um, worked with him. A fun fact about Korean names is that there was once a person who was named Park Hanul Byeol Nim Gurum Hae Nim Boda Sarang Sura Uri, which is 17 characters in total. So after this person, um, there were so many problems and just a lot of setbacks because for like documents and other forms, it was such a long name. Korea officially made a law that prohibited anyone from making a name that was longer than five characters. The meaning of this name is really pretty. It's saying that this person is prettier than the stars, the skies, and the sun. You'll definitely know that Korean last names are extremely common and you'll know that someone is Korean based on their last name and the most common last names are Kim, Lee, and Park. Here in the US, if you meet someone with a very unique last name, you'll probably know that they're part of uh, the family or somehow related to them. But in Korea, if you stop someone, like if you stop 10 people, they'll most likely be Kim, Lee's, or Park. So, there's no uh, prep, like concept that every Kim is related to each other and every Lee is related to each other. And for every last name, or for most last names, if they are um, popular enough, they'll have different family clans. So Kim, like the last name Kim, uh, someone might be part of Kime, Kime Kimshi, which is like a uh, which is a place in Korea, or someone might be from Gyeongju Kimshi. So there's different regions. That, um, that the last name originates from. In episodes 6 and 12 of the show, you'll know that the judge asks the attorneys like, oh, where are you from? Like, where's your last name from? Or where's your family roots? And they'll say like, oh, I'm from this part or this part. In episode 12, the judge asked one of the attorneys again, where is your family clan for the last name? And it turns out they have the same family clan. Ah, 
재판장님 성함에는 하자가 있으니 아마도 27세 손이신 것 같은데요. 맞습니까? 예, 맞습니다. 그렇다면 제가 재판장님의 숙모버린 셈이네요. <웃음> 물론 저를 꼭 숙모라고 부르지는 않으셔도 됩니다. <웃음> And once he realizes her full name, he actually recognizes it and says, like, he realizes that she's technically the same level as his aunt. Like, um, another example is when BTS was on the show Knowing Bros, there's one member called Min Kyung Hoon, and Suga's real name is Min Yoongi, so they both have the name Min as their last, uh, as their last name, and. When they're like guessing names and they finally get it, Suga says, "Oh, I actually searched it up, and we're the same. We have the same. We're from the same family clan, but I'm a higher ranking than you." And Min Kyung Hoon realizes that Suga's full name is Min Yoon Ki, so for his name, Ki is a Dolimja, which is the character that's used for other people or his siblings. And he says, "Oh, I think." I'm your uncle, like I'm at the same rank as your uncles. And Min Kyung Hoon is probably thinking like um, maybe in one of his uncle's names there's a key. And then he says like he agrees like oh yeah you probably are one of my uncles. <laughs> this is why um, the members are telling Min Kyung Hoon like, oh, call him uncle because it's just funny that he's calling someone younger than him um, like an elder. So to explain this, Korean last names most have a ranking for um, like their family tree, and in order to recognize the ranking, people choose one character that they'll use in the name because most Korean names are two characters. So they'll set a Korean character for one um, for each ranking, and they'll keep using it. This is called a hangyal or dolimja, and dolimja means. Tulida is in this word, and that just means like you're reusing it and you're like, circling it around. So you'll see that um, some siblings will share um, one character together. You'll actually see that um, the twice member Jonghyun and her sister, who's an actress, is Gong Seunhyun, or her real name is Yoo Seunhyun. They have the same last character, Yeon. So this is a Tulimja. Going back to Uyeong, her last name is U. And this isn't the most common last name in Korea, but it's definitely not rare, which is why when her mom reads the paper and first reads her name, she isn't like startled by it or recognizes it because it could really be anyone's last name. But in America, it's different because um, let's say her mom, or her, her last name, Wuyongwu's last name was Biden, and her mom reads it, and she would definitely recognize it or even think like, could this be um, like, the last name that I know because it's so unique and different. In the show, there's two law firms, Hambada, which is where Wuyongwu works at, and Taesan. Uh, these companies were both set up by the CEOs for Hambada is Han Seonyoung, and for Taesan is Taesumi. So they took their first name and used it as the law firm's uh, name, but Hambada means big ocean, and Taesan means big mountains. So already there is a huge difference between these two law firms. When you think about it, Wuyongwu is really fit for Hambada because she loves whales, and whales live in the ocean, so she would be in Hambada. Next, I want to go over is Dongurami's family. Already, Dongurami is a very unique name. It means circle. But uh, before I get into her name, I want to go over her dad's siblings' names, which is. Dong Dongil, Dong Dongi, Dong Dong Sam, and this is really funny because uh, her grandfather's name is Won Bin. Won Bin is a really good-looking actor that's known for his movie Ajashi or Man from Nowhere. And on other shows, if people ask for their ideal type or 
they're just referring to handsome actors, Wonbin will always be in the list. And for the grandpa, um, he probably didn't realize at the time, but his name that he was given has this really good positive image, but it's funny that he named his kids the most simplest names um, in, in the Korean language because it's Tongil, Tongi, Tongsam. The il is ham at the end of the names just means one, two, three. And you'll recognize that they use Tong, which is the last name. They use it twice, so Tong Dong Il. And this is really uncommon. And it also just sounds very uh, peculiar because you're repeating the last name. 삼촌들 성함이 다 외자야. 일이랑 이 아니 동일 동이 동삼. 그러니까 성까지 하면 동동일 동동이 동동삼. 우리 아빠가 동동삼. 아니 아니 할아버지가 지었다는데 개 이름도 아니고 겁나 대충 아니냐? 자식들 이름은 그렇게 지어놓고 할아버지 이름은 뭔줄 알아? 뭐게요? 뭔데? 원빈. <웃음> 동원빈. <laughs> Back to Tongurami, her name is, her last name is Tong and her name is Kurami. And this sounds very weird on its own, but when you look at the word all together, which is Tongurami, it's a it actually means circle. While you were watching the show, you probably noticed that when people called for attorney Wu, they would say Wu Byonosanim or Wu Byonosa. And here in, in Korean, you state the last name first and then you state the occupation. So you can say Yi Gyozun Nim or Kim Bak San Nim. And Yi Gyozun Nim is Professor Lee and Kim Bak San Nim is Dr. Kim. Most importantly is the meaning of Korean names. So most Korean names, like I said, are two characters. And these characters are usually Chinese, so they have meanings for each character. So her name means, uh, Yong means flower and Wu means luck. So the whole meaning of it is uh, live a, like a beautiful life, like a flower, and also have a lot of luck. Hejomunyo, 태어나서 지금까지 본 책을 전부 기억하지만 회전문도 못 지나가는 우영우 영리하고 어리석은 우영우 And Pagumbin, which is the actress that plays Uyongu, her name is also has a meaning. 은혜은 빛날빛 And 은혜 means grace and 빛날 means to shine. So it means to let your grace shine and live a beautiful life. In episode three, Uyongu and some other attorneys sing a song, and one of the lyrics uh, mentions the word pengsu, which is a character, and they say namguk peng beonar su. So peng doesn't actually have a meaning, it's actually um, penguin, which is penguin in Korean, so they just took that, um, the first character of that word and they said Namguk Peng so like this is like South Pole Penguin I guess and Su Bernard Su is an actual thing and this means outstanding so um, the meaning of this would be an, an outstanding penguin from the South Pole Let me introduce myself my name is Peng Su Namguk Peng Bernard Su so 
this is it for explaining names in Extraordinary Attorney Wu. I hope this helped to understand the drama more and just expand your basic knowledge on Korean names. I'll see you next time. Annyeong! 하나, 둘, 셋!